Okay, now that we've seen the control panel, we've now come in the chicken house and we're currently standing in a house that's got two week old broilers in it. And Tom can tell us a little bit about the function of the inside of this house. Okay, so we've already talked about the outside. We've seen the cool cells at one end. We've seen fans at the other end. We're inside the house now. And like Jessica says, these guys are still small. They're only two weeks old. So we don't have a big tunnel of air going down this house yet because the chickens are still small. We don't need all of those tunnel fans running yet, but the system is here. It's capable of doing that as the need arises. It does feel good. It does feel good. So the environment here, the controller is doing what the controller is supposed to do. It's managing the environment properly inside this chicken house. It's running the right number of fans at the right amount of time. I'm pulling the right amount of air in here so that you see the chickens are spread out pretty much from sidewall to sidewall, pretty much from end to end. They're not all against the wall like they're way too hot. They're not all piled up underneath a brooder like they're too cold. They're pretty happy just the way they are right now and the way everything is inside this house. You can see brooders inside this house that keep the chickens warm whenever they need heat. You see feed lines, you see drinker lines. The chickens have everything they need inside here. That's part of the reason we move production of commercial chickens inside so that we can contain the environment the way that we want to. We can give them access to feed, give them access to water, give them access to heat, keep them cool. Everything we can do inside this house is to protect the chickens. So the way this setup is set up in terms of managing feeder height, drinker height, right now you see feeders are on the ground and you see very little feed inside this pan. You do not want this pan to be full of feed and running over. The more feed that gets in that pan, the more feed they're gonna waste. And once it gets on the floor, they're not gonna eat it. So we keep this level of feed inside this pan very low after those chickens get more than about two or three days old so that they do not waste feed. Again, they do not see water per se, an open water source. What they're seeing is a little silver pin and they learn to peck that little silver pin and that's where their water comes from. So all of this goes into keeping those chickens safe, keeping the system inside the house to where that growers can manage that system and birds do a good job in terms of growth rate, in terms of feed conversion. Again, it's a, it's a different setup than what you see with outside chickens or backyard chickens but the commercial industry has found that this is the ideal situation in terms of trying to grow birds inside a chicken house. Sounds good, thanks.